Like little cats? Well, the Minskin is just that. You want a mini cat? Get a Minskin. I think it's unique. I think it's cute. You have this almost pixie-ish, big-eared E.T. look around the face. The Minskin. It's an outgoing, new, exotic, and pretty rare miniature cat breed. They really are a petite cat, but they have these big, dazzling eyes. Cute, cuddly, and kitten-like forever. If you like kittens, this is the cat for you because they look like kittens their whole life. And while they may be little, they are big time lovable with people and other pets. Just because they're low in stature doesn't mean the Minskin has some kind of inferiority complex. This cat gets around with the best of them and they love being part of the family. As for the name, it kind of spells out just what the cat is. Min is for miniature legs, and skin is for that cool skin. If you just look at this cat, you can guess its ancestry. It all began in the Boston area, when a breeder crossed a few cats and got this new little breed. The Minskin is a munchkin and a sphinx, with a touch of Devon Rex and Burmese. Minskins are a low-shedding, pointed breed of cat with three different coat standards. The hairless, name says it all, has no hair on its body or very, very little. The fully coated has hair all over its body. And the fur points is hairless on its body except for the points of its feet, tail, and ears. The next physical feature that's interesting are the short legs. Even though they are miniature and their legs are compact, their back legs are still a little bit longer than their front legs. Think the Minskin's tail looks long? It is. What's really wild about the Minskin is that the tail can be longer than the body. Meet Paul McSorley from Auburn, Massachusetts. He has a nine-month-old Minskin named Madeline, who he loves dearly. Minskin cats are like little monkeys. I don't want a monkey in my house, so I decided to go with the Minskin cats because they're the next best thing. She has just got the best personality. But Paul is not your average Minskin owner. His story is a little different. Why? Because Paul has been breeding cats for 22 years, and he invented the Minskin breed. I wanted something that was just different. I wanted something that was striking and unique, and I decided to hybridize my Munchkin with Sphinx and create something that was exciting. Madeline is a perfect example of a Minskin. She has the desired fur points, which would be fur closely compact on the mask, ears, legs, and tail. And the fur on the legs can rise up to the hips and the shoulders with a more sparsely coated torso. It takes a lot of insight and enthusiasm. In my case, it's a very heartfelt compassion to have developed this breed. Paul's love for cats all began back in 1989 when he worked at a pet store. Today, he's introducing his old boss, Martha, to Madeline for the first time. Ooh, look at oh, her who is this? It's like a little lamb. Huh? She's pretty cute with the little short leg. Sadly, the day Paul got his first pet cat, his mom passed away. I was 21 years old when she died, and uh, having that kitten did give me something else to, to focus on. I feel in some way as, it, as though it might have been a gift from her and a focus for me to, uh, to get me through that difficult period. And so Paul got busy and created this new lovable breed. The Minskin breed was no accident. I sat out in my backyard in 1998 and I drafted the first copy of the Minskin breed standard and what I wanted them to look like. Two years later, I hit the bullseye and she came out exactly the way that I wanted her to. Right. Paul feels so strongly about Madeline's star quality that he's decided to get her into the show ring. Let's go, it's time for the show. Let's go. There are seven judging rings. Each counts as its own. Just like Paul thought, 
little Madeline turned on the charm and wowed the judges. She's very cute. The judges love her, the exhibitors love her, and the spectators love her. We need to see more of you guys in the show. Best preliminary new breed in the show. <laughs> If somebody had asked me when I was younger, what do you want to do when you get older? I don't think I ever would have come up with, I want to be a cat breeder who invents a new breed of cat. But I'm so happy because the cats have given me such a great sense of pride and accomplishment that I don't think I otherwise would have had. It's been a great weekend. We got the best preliminary new breed in show. She's tired, I'm tired, we'll call it a day. The Minskin is a lovable kitty that's pretty healthy with no serious medical issues. As for grooming, they need it. The Minskin is either hairless or has very sparse hair. So they don't have a lot of fur to absorb the oil, so their skin gets very oily and then very dirty, so a weekly bath is gonna be necessary. And they make a good family pet. After all, they're everyone's friend. The Minskin not only gets along great with other cats and dogs, but also with people and especially children. So overall, the Minskin is a pretty healthy cat. You need to bathe them regularly to keep their skin clean and oil-free. And they make great family pets for those who want a loving, friendly cat. How are you?